Scammers act pretty tough when they're scamming you, but they get a little nervous when you call them out with their actual identity. I'll show you exactly how I did this. So the story begins with me getting a Facebook message from my friend Jeff. He said, hello, and what's up? And then he went on about the Utah State Development Program. Okay, this doesn't seem like something my friend Jeff would say, so I checked out his profile, and sure enough, it was a duplicate account, and whoever runs this account was impersonating my friend. Now, this is one of the oldest scams in the book. Scammers will impersonate one of your friends on Facebook, and then they'll tell you about some grant that they've qualified for, and that you can qualify too if you just apply for it. And the trick is that you've got to wire a couple hundred dollars to some claiming agent in order to get your grant processed. And people will do this because their friend told them to. Well, I wasn't about to fall for this, so I just responded and I said, how can you be so happy after yesterday's news? <laughs> and he said, I am lucky. I got the sum of $150,000 within 48 hours I applied. Would you like to apply as well so you can benefit from the program? And I said, how can you feel so lucky after what happened to mom? Now, Jeff isn't really my brother, but this scammer doesn't know that. So he just responds with, I understand, it's sad though. I'll send you the link of the online claiming agent who helped me get my money within 48 hours I applied, okay? Wow, you think that someone whose mom just died would show a little bit of remorse. I'm like, Jeff, she got run over by a truck. Our mother is dead and all you can think about is some contest? Yes, I know, Ben. I was so sad as well. May her soul rest in peace. Where are you now? <laughs> and I said, I'm home in bed crying. He said, I cried so much last night I couldn't sleep. Okay, this is pathetic. He knows that I'm not in any mood to apply for a government program, so he goes on and he tells me that he's going to send me some money if he can just get his phone working, which he can apparently do if I send him a Walmart gift card for $500. Who out there falls for this stuff? I responded and I said, Jeff, will you tell me a favorite memory of mom? I'm grieving. And he said, when we were kids. I can't remember it vividly though. Are you prepared for Walmart now? <laughs> what a great memory. I said, Jeff, say something nice about your dead mother. Stop thinking about phones and money. He said, mom was the most absolute woman who ever lived. And I said, tell me a memory of her. And he couldn't come up with a good memory. And eventually he said, can I tell you something, Ben? Oh, here we go. I said, what? Would you forgive me if I tell you? I said, what do you have to tell me? Something important. I said, well, then just hurry up and tell me because I have a funeral to prepare for. And he said, okay. My name is Michael from Nigeria. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Yeah. I'm really sorry about your mom. I'm crying here right now. It brought memories of my mom as well. I'm an orphan. My dad died of accident some years back and my mom passed away shortly. I understand the type of situation you're going through right now. I've experienced that before. Losing the only people I have in the world was something very sorrowful. I struggle each day to survive. Nobody is willing to help. So I wrote back and I said, I knew you were scamming me. And he continued and he said, I got chased out of school because I couldn't meet up to pay my school fees. I struggle each day to put food on my table, to put on clothes, to make sure I go to school because of the importance of education. I was chased out of school last week and they won't allow me to continue until I paid my fee. A friend of mine just introduced me into this. He told me this was his means of survival. They steal someone else's photo and send out requests to his friend. They have a script they follow. You were the first person to accept my request. Okay, this is the story that I hear all too often. Another Yahoo boy who can't find a better way to make a living, so he resorts to scamming. I said, your mom wouldn't be very happy to see you scamming. He said, yes, wherever she is, may her soul rest in peace. I made a promise to make her proud. I have an ambition of being a medical doctor to save lives, but due to situation, I have been chased out of school because I couldn't meet up with the fee. And I'm like, so what are you gonna do to pay your fee? I don't know yet, sir. No one is willing to help me. I asked my friend for help. He refused. He said I should join the scamming world. I want to stop this. It's sad what innocent Americans are going through. And I said, then do something better. I can work for you, sir. I'll tell you the various scam. Hold on, I'll send you a picture right now. And I'm like, yeah, 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 I don't care about scamming. I want you to use your brain and provide me with something valuable. Okay, sir, what would you like me to do? And I don't know what he's good at. I tell him to go to fiverr.com and look at the thousands of people offering their services for sale. 
I tell him to find something that he could do to provide value to someone else. And I said, you need to make something for me. I told him about how I've seen these little scam video tutorials that they make in Nigeria, and I told him to make a better kind of a video, like a tribute to his mom. And he actually did. Hey, it's not awful. It's actually kind of touching. You see what cool things you can do when you're not scamming? Is he ever going to talk about sending pictures to scammers? Yes, I am, right now, because Michael said, please, sir, help me get back to school. I want to make my mom proud. And I'm like, well, what's something else we can do for your mom? He said, you gave me the idea about the tribute at first, sir. Maybe you could give me another idea. I need to leave my friend's house. They are forcing me to scam or they will soon throw me out and I can't scam. Oh, he's in a house with a bunch of scammers, huh? I said, what kind of scam are your friends running? He said they run different scams, cash app scam, romance scam, Bitcoin scam, even inheritance scam. Okay, well this might be fun. Michael's shacking up with a bunch of Nigerian scammers who are busy stealing from Americans and they're all about to need a new change of underwear because I'm going to scare them stupid. I said, I want them to scam me. Then I will teach them a lesson. And Michael said, okay, please sir, but you need to promise me that you won't make them know it's me because if they find out, they aren't going to take it lightly. And I'm like, of course not. He said, what would you do to them? And then I told him my plan about how he just needs to get me one of the fake accounts that they're using and then I'm gonna strike up a conversation with them. Then Michael will provide me with the actual information of the scammer and I'm gonna scare them so bad that they'll shut down their little operation. So Michael said, okay, give me a few minutes. And a few minutes go by and Michael gets back to me and he says, I found out one of them scamming accounts. I had to go dig around his computer. So Michael actually came through and he showed me the profile that one of his coworkers is using. It's a guy named Tom. He said, that's it, sir. Please don't mention a word about me. Okay, so this scammer is probably going through the real Tom's friend list and trying to run the scam. So I pretend to be a long lost friend of Tom's and I send him a message from my personal Facebook account. I tell Michael that I sent him a message and I ask when they will respond. Michael says, I don't know yet. They are all with their laptops smoking and definitely chatting with their victims. Well, not five minutes later, Tom wrote back. He said, hello, Ben, I'm doing well. It's been a while. I tried looking you up on Facebook, but I couldn't find you. Lots of Ben's, LOL. <laughs> so I go on to shoot the breeze with my long lost friend, Tom. We talk about golf and kids and neither one of us knows what the crap we're talking about. So then Michael, who is still in the house, writes me and asks, what's going on between you guys? I'm trying to get some of my clothes and leave here immediately. And I said, okay, leave, but first take a picture of the house, which he did after packing his bags and leaving. He says, that's a picture of the house, 1.2 million Naira a year for the rental. That's about $3,000 in the US. Well, there's certainly money to be made in scamming. And Tom eventually decides that it's time to move into the next phase of the scam and he says, guess what? You are lucky you ran into me. Have you heard anything about the United Nations Empowerment Program? Hey, I've seen this one. I've seen this one. This is a classic. I said, nope, I haven't. He said, oh, you're missing out, man. I got the sum of $500,000 from the Empowerment Program. Would you like to apply for the program? And I was like, really? Where do I learn more? He says, I'll send you the link of the online claiming agent, Mrs. Penny Jarvis. You've got Hangouts, right? I say yes, and then I add Penny on Hangouts, and then I immediately get a message from her saying, hello, Benjamin, I'm Penny Jarvis, the officer in charge of distributing the grant money issued from the United Nations. Do you want to apply as well? And I said, yes, I'd like to know more. So then I update Michael on what's going on, and he tells me that Penny Jarvis is actually the boss man who owns the home, and he's the one that closes all the deals that the boys send to him. So then I asked Michael for some information on this guy, and Michael sent me over a couple of images from his Facebook page. Michael says, that's the boss. I'll send you the one pretending to be Tom. So I go back to Penny, who says, okay, Mr. Ben, you've got to be very straightforward with me so I can help you get your grant money. And I say, okay. This year, a large amount of money was issued. I have helped thousands get their grant money. You're about to be one of them. I'll ask you a few questions and we can continue, okay? And I said, sure. And then she asked me for my full name. So I go back to Michael and I ask, do you have a name for the boss? And he says, Tunde 
He also tells me that the kid playing Tom is named Segun. He says they live the big life with the US dollars. All right, here's where it's all about to go down. And here we go. I make sure Michael has left the house and then I take the name that he gave me and I go back to Penny Jarvis and I respond that my full name is Tunde And he must have felt pretty spooked because he responds and he says, what do you mean? Are you playing here? And then I take it one step further and I say, here's my picture. <laughs> OMG. I said, what? He said, where did you get all these? Someone might have snitched on me. And that's when I said, it was Segun. He said, what did you offer that lad for all these? And I didn't answer because Michael said that if they suspected law enforcement was on their tail, they would surely shut it all down. So I just responded and I said, we're aware of your scam and the EFCC is on its way. But Tunde thought I was some American bluffing and he said, FYI, man, I'm rich. I'll get maximum protection. You're not from Nigeria. You won't get an upper hand here. You don't even know my house address. I said, is this your room? Damn, Segun is finished. And that's when I blocked Tunde, leaving him and his team scrambling as Michael is now miles away from the house. I told Michael to give me his Bitcoin wallet ID so I could send him the money that he needed to get back into school. I figured that sticking it to a scam boss and getting that kind of reaction was certainly worth a hundred bucks. I said, I want you to understand you were getting this money because you were honest with me and you worked for it. And I want you to remember what I did for you and find a way to pay it forward to someone else when you're in a better situation. Michael said, thank you so much, sir. I'm very grateful. I'll never forget what you've done for me today. I'll reciprocate this to someone else, sir. I promise you. Please permit me to delete this account. And I said, okay. He said, I'll be looking out for the video on YouTube. And I said, please be safe. I'll be, sir. Thanks. Have a nice day. You know, it's kind of fun sticking it to scam bosses, but you know what's even more fun? Doing something nice for someone. And I'm sure that wherever Michael is right now, he's probably watching this video. So why don't you leave a comment for him? I'm sure he'll be looking through them closely. And so to the scammers watching right now, look for better ways to make a living and provide value to others in your community. And to the rest of you, look for the good in people. Hey, I hope you liked this video and I have a great tip for you if you don't want to get your Facebook account hacked by scammers. And that's to start using a password manager like Dashlane who's sponsoring today's video. Dashlane is a great app that you can use on all your devices to save and autofill your passwords and logins. I know some of you out there are using the same password on every account that you have and you really need to stop doing that if you don't want it ending up in the wrong hands. Let Dashlane generate strong and complex passwords for you and keep them safe and secure. It'll also store your personal information like your name, address, passport, driver's license, and autofill forms for you. This saves me a ton of time. It'll also store your payment information so you're not needing to hunt down your wallet every time you wanna go buy something online. So for a better, faster, and more efficient internet experience, Dashlane is the way to go. It's a digital life hack for me and I want you to try it out on your first device for free. So head on over to dashlane.com slash pleasantgreen. And if you love it like I do, use promo code pleasantgreen to get 10% off Dashlane Premium. Hey guys, I hope you like this video. Be sure to subscribe for many more just like it and I will see you in the next one.